Hello everyone and thank you for coming back to the channel. That channel is Deb Chanel's 48th World. And we're going to be talking about a duo artist or I guess you could call her a solo artist now. She's one of Beyonce's protégés that she has taken under her wing. And she has definitely been playing the part. Or maybe, uh, how we call it, replacing Beyonce soon. Because definitely Beyonce is getting kind of tired. She's trying to fit into the mommy role. And she kind of just want to let everything fall to the wayside. But she needs to be making money. She needs to be uh, still in touch and in tune with her revenue. Which is, uh, I think it's Parkwood Entertainment. She has her artist signed under. Which she does have the twins, Chloe and uh, Hallie. And those are her mother and, and dad and her uh, brother, I believe. I'm like, what agreement did their parents enter them into the music industry and the movie industry? Seems like uh, Chloe, which is the one in the middle, uh, she wants to hang in the musical side. That's where her talent arranged from. And you have Holly, or Hallie. She is... Uh, in the movie scene she's supposed to be the little mermaid uh coming up this fall or next year uh portraying the first black uh lady to hold a pretty much white dominant type of uh modeling or actress uh scene as far as the disney uh channel is, is concerned and i'm like what type of agreement did beyonce tina and the bailey's uh, sister's mom along with probably their dad uh, Matthew knows what type of agreement did they enter in with Chloe on making her become a star or a replacement uh, further on down the road for Miss Beyonce I mean is Chloe going to be the new signed label artist giving her much revenue and is uh, Hallie there uh, is she going to be making Beyonce uh, money moves in the movie industry I tell you they're both talented girls and you can see they have full of life full of uh, vitality and they dress to play the part and you know they're not showing all that skin which Hollywood wants them to do uh, in order to fit in to their grand scheme or grand scheme of things they went from looking classy to almost down looking naked and trashy you know what i'm saying i just don't get it guys why do so many people want to flaunt to the music and and where the entertainment uh production feel as a career choice when they know it's going to cost them something much much more price uh priceless than they can afford to give out and that's their soul and that's just a uh, Baphomet sign. If you look up uh, what Baphomet is, it's Satan and Beyonce is wearing the Baphomet ring. I mean, I'm not putting no ring on my finger that has the double horns and all of that like I'm sporting him. I'm not a rocker. You know, most rock groups be doing those horn signs with the hands and wearing all this skull and bones and all these kind of dead theatric type outfit or wear. But Disney has also gotten clowned on becoming a grooming tent or foundation for, you know, making these young girls come out to be sex kittens in the industry. You know, they get them young, 9, 10. But remember, all things work together for good to those who love God. So I want to say keep those two sisters in prayer. Hopefully one day they will wake up, have an epiphany, and say, No, God, forgive me for all my sins, past, present, and future. And walk me out with your hand, dear Lord, from this industry. Because it's very satanic. And I tell you, they have definitely put these women. Now, see, that's how they're supposed to be. Y'all remember Dream Girls or whatever? How they used to dress like the Supremes? Uh, you know, with class and dignity. You see how they came out? You know how they had these girls? And now you got them looking half-dressed, half. Ain't got no clothes on it, on each other. Like, look at that picture right there. Only thing that you get is not the fashion because the fashion is on point. I love the hair. But I'm just looking at these boobs. I can't see the nipple, but it's just like, damn, they there. Then you got this little outfit. And it seems like this particular 
um, picture that's coming in the video has her coming out of woman's vagina or the womb, or the, or the vaginal area. That's what that pink to me symbolizes, and the little shapes that it's making that look like a woman's vagina, y'all. And like she's the, uh, I guess, whore Babylon uh mixed up in there you know it's like if you gotta go see the video and i tell you i wouldn't have been on this uh looking at a video or trying to research this or talk about this uh particular video if it didn't come across my feed and other youtube content creators were out there doing some things and, and making references now let me go see this video see if it's as horrendous as they're talking about it is and uh, talking about that it is and i went child i'm like that is something else now if you look and notice some of the hand positions beyonce used herself can't go through all of them y'all gotta look up rituals y'all gotta look up mk ultra y'all gotta look up uh the uh, music industry and how demonic it is and then this video that i'm giving y'all to partake of will probably make sense a lot of people out there are forming their own opinions you know that's what we do most people don't we're not journalists i'm not a journalist and see i'm like these are angels are they going to be angels or are they going to be uh puppets of the uh, satanic world they have to choose and right now it seems like uh, they came out like i said beautiful young women very talented uh have a lot going for them intellectual as well as musical inclined and they just want to just you know this go look up um thou do what thou will alistair crowley study him and you'll see what this pretty much comes from or the satanic church this is what they believe in the robotic female slave and this just is a picture of uh, more than likely possession uh because even beyonce said herself she can't do any of the um the stances or the uh, practices of choreography at first she has to you know it just don't come together she can get the one two three four five six steps but just putting all that emphasis and you know uh body language in it she don't get it until she asks the spirit to come into her and that's when she's about to perform and then she does all these explosive demonic type things and you know everybody loving on her and just that and the third and i'm like are you kidding me you know what i'm saying so, um, yeah, I just kind of put it together because it seems like Jay-Z kind of got Beyonce whipped into shape and fell into the whole scenario of her uh, being this famous woman. Everybody's going to love her and bow down to her. And if she wants it, she has to be a solo artist. And it seems like Tina Knowles is getting her little cameo shock. I'm like, are you playing like P. Diddy? You got to be uh, sitting up there in everybody's videos now, girl. She and all of Beyonce's videos from the uh, the Blackest King and all this stuff. I'm like, okay, girl. And those were talking about the symbolic hand signals I was talking about. And that's like, you know, all of them had life in them pretty much. But, you know, when you fool with the devil, this is what you get. And to me, Jay-Z ain't nothing but the devil. He go around him. Uh, and it's not allegedly because a lot of people have come out on him that he beats people. He beats women. He even attacked an uh, African woman in the airport one time. Pushed her, shoved her, slapped her. I'm like, oh, come on, girl. Do you really know what you got in this man? But, like I said, these are the muscle-bound, reconstructive facial body expressions that were caught on tape. And, you know... A lot of people were questioning whether she was possessed or not. Get out of there, Jay. Get from under there, mister. And, you know, a lot of things are said when it comes to Beyonce. Uh, you know, doing her little ritual things when she throws up the pyramid and she act like everything is okay. And she's throwing her, uh, uh, wearing her similar symbolizations and accessories and stuff of that nature and that's the picture where she came out uh that she was interviewing with bet and they had asked her you know how can she perform how she keep up with this grueling schedule and choreography and all that and she said you know her other alter ego comes into her so we know that in the religious world it's possession okay she has conjured these spirits up and that's what she does she gets all her um i don't know exciting choreography and singing ability from you know the underworld the devil i mean if you got to believe 
and or you think you believe in the devil and satanicness and demonic stuff then why not believe god is good all the time and he's for you and not against you i mean you can't believe in one and not the other one they are some you know <laughs> they are both uh on the same platform getting you to choose the right thing or the wrong thing it's your choice but i was just like how can parents sell their children in these days and times when everything is just thrown out there nothing is hidden anymore they are putting it right in front of your face you know the old saying saying hidden in plain sight well hell it's not hidden in plain sight no more this is just straight up bull and if you don't recognize it for what it is then i don't know what to tell you okay christ is the way get into it learn about them and your soul will be saved all right but yep that's miss tina uh, if you choose to go and watch the video, only thing I can say, so that's just like a wall of a vagina, y'all. That's just what I see. Y'all get down and tell me what y'all think it is, the props in the back. And then she's dressing over-sexualized. I mean, why do men in these days and times still think that sex sells? I mean, why well, I'm just going to have a stripper pole or just have a club scene and just say, come get me, come get me, come get me. You know what I'm saying? And just dress in swimsuit. Because it was the point of putting on clothes if you're going to be half-ass dressed, as we see here. And I was like, they just, uh, what do you call it, blaspheming, talking about have mercy. Yeah, somebody need to definitely uh, seek her out, pray for her, and get her back to her uh, glowing self. Because right now she's deep in, if she ain't already signed herself on over to the demonic world. And she's going to worship Satan herself because that one even to me that was just like a medusa uh move where she's um a cali or Kelis or not Kelis but cali if you go and um um look up these different deities back in historical days if it is correct you know because everything is kind of tampered with and you got to do your own research and background history checks vetting and all of that to come up with some type of logical reasoning explanation but you see how she totally transformed even her body function is totally different i'm like has she already conjured up her alter ego and have them reside in her and they come out whenever they feel like they want to i mean just being worshipped and idolized and fame just puts you in a fishbowl where you cannot even really truly live and go out and get you a, a, a sandwich or someone or somebody you know mugging you or trying to kidnap you or just trying to get in your space you know you can't live anymore why do people choose to live this type of lifestyle i do not know but yes these are uh, little pics i got from uh, her video trying to display the more sinister mysterious demonic side of where our once hidden gem and diamond chloe bailey has faltered and went off the boat uh the straight and narrow and she has gone into a wide uh path path that's going to send her straight to hell so many prayers go up for her like i said i don't know where the parents are why they letting beyonce allegedly tina Knowles, and matthew and the entertainment industry period at its whole large totality why are they um uh, selling this girl's soul or um masking that is something good uh it would help her talents and she would be forever fulfilled in this lustful type of industry and shout out to the grape juice or a little vlogging company uh or blogger i use this uh picture um go check their site out they're another um blogger youtuber that have um a mass amount of celebrity type videos where they're for them or against them or whatnot um pretty much equality over here i can see both sides but i'm like is it worth selling your soul to get all this fame and fortune and you still be empty at the end you know it's almost like getting everything you want but you're still unhappy but you paid a price a very large price and that's your soul that you can't get back because you made and signed that devilish decree of uh entrapment uh contract and you purchased your soul or you sold your soul when it wasn't yours to begin with it's the lord's okay but girl she ain't showing them but romping ass and all of that and the whole scene takes place like i'm just visualizing 
that it was a school that she was the madam of and she taught them how to take men's money and they sold pretty much you know what i'm saying because it even had a little part in there where the boy's eyes was black uh and she was laying on the bed with him and he was just like you know a zombie or something so i'm like really really if this is what the industry this is what creativity uh making videos is supposed to look like look at that, you see that crack that girl's behind splitting up like that. It's just sensationalism of sexism and they keep using our younger girls to display it if we don't uh teach our young ladies that hey you might be shaking your romp and all this kind of little stuff and that and the other but you know come on Come on, let's stop giving them feeding the machine of uh, emptiness and sadness and depression and, you know, possibly suicidal ideologies going on when you can't get or you feel the same like you used to feel when you first was making music and, and um, getting into people's spirits in a good way. You know what I'm saying? Making them feel good. But now you're just a poster child for porn pretty much and i'm like oh my goodness oh my goodness so all prayers go out to miss uh chloe bailey and her sister because we have yet to see what her sister's going to be partaking of and how beyonce is going to be ruining her life as well okay and i'm not saying you know uh it's it's all put on beyonce in the music industry because everything has a choice people have to understand certain things and if they can live with it cool you know but then you know when you get into the sacrifice and one for the other and i just don't want to see anything happen bad to them they seem like pretty good girls good bread good stock and they had so much life and potential and now one of them has gone into the music music industry and she's looking like a total hoe and you know, uh, this is the man she was supposed to have to seduce and took his soul or whatever and made him her own property to use however she see fits. You know, and to have those two at the reins handling their career is just very mind boggling. Very, very mind boggling and disturbing. And see, that's Miss Hallie. She's supposed to be the new mermaid coming up for Disney uh, this maybe fall or maybe. Uh, early winter of next year i don't know when the movie's gonna come back out but she's supposed to be playing that part but you know looking at her sister laying on the bed going through a woman's womb or this is the vagina of the woman's womb and she's supposed to be an entrapment for that like we just sex trapping or sex kittens for men to play with we're just little toys and she's pretty much you know saying this is what we do this is how we get our money and this is we are boss you know uh, we sell our uh, Uzi for a price, and if you can't pay it, keep bouncing. I mean, I don't understand. I don't, you know, this is just how I'm viewing it. So, if you dare to definitely seek out to try and go and uh, premiere or look at her video, you're going to be saying, Lord, have mercy on her soul as well. If you're, you know, a decent person and, and you believe it's right, it's right, and wrong, it's wrong. But, you know, it's a shame that, you know, Matthew Knowles did Beyonce that way, sold her for the highest price. Because anybody tell him quit his job, but he saw the fame, the fortune, and, you know, everything he wanted. And he sacrificed his daughter because she liked it music. She wanted to reach people through her music. And this is what we got here, you know. So thank y'all for coming in, viewing the video, spending time with me. And I will crank out some more uh, videos uh, for y'all to partake of. You can definitely put your comments down there. And please share me out to your family and friends. And come back as always. You know I got something to talk about. And I'll see y'all next video. Bye-bye.